Singapore is a judgmental and conservative country. Constantly worried about what can I do to make myself look smaller? How do I make myself look beautiful? Even till now, I still struggle to love myself. When I was young, I was never really skinny or like an ideal body type for the society. I was constantly pressured to lose weight. Being bullied in school, I was also pressured at home to kind of lay off the food. And I did the most unhealthiest things. I would try something new every week and I will give up because I just felt like I didn't see a single difference in my body. What is wrong with me? Why can't I just stick to something? And why is my body not changing? I have had people I work with come up to me and tell me that, why do you look so fat? And why do you look like this? Do you do anything to lose weight? It just becomes a negative uh, mindset that just ingrains in you and just you don't feel good. Singapore is a judgmental and conservative country. So when it comes to talking about issues about plus size women, it becomes a very taboo topic. It's still not represented enough or at all, dare I say. I had people around me who were willing to help me and you know, were willing to listen to me. But because of my insecurities and because of me thinking that I'm always burdening someone, I did not talk to someone about any of my issues, which now I really wish I did because I don't think that I would have had a longer period of just struggling to figure out who I am if I just spoke to someone who was close to me and someone who understood my situation or I just asked for help. At the age of 21, 22, I kind of slowly got into the process of accepting who I am as a person and how my body looks because I was just struggling so much with trying to fit myself into society's standards of beauty that I forgot who I really was. I listened to my body and understood like what can I eat, what should I not eat and understand when I'm actually hungry and when I'm actually full. Saw food in a more healthier way. Every day I have a reflection period. I look at what can I do to make myself a better person today. Reminding myself that whatever I do, it's just making sure that you're doing it in a controlled manner and not overdoing something like overeating or overexercising. When it comes to body neutrality, it's basically not putting the pressure on how you physically look and kind of accepting how you feel at that moment. There are so many interesting things about you and 90% is not about your body. It's okay to be where you are as long as you are growing, just being happier, healthier and just being more authentic to ourselves. Even till now, I still struggle to love myself. It's just not as much. <laughs> When I look at myself now, I'm like, it's okay to not love yourself sometimes. Just relax. Just take life one day at a time and just kind of be easy with yourself and don't be so harsh and listen to your body and just respect your body. I want to change. I want to change the way we see women, the way we see ourselves. So that's why I actually created this body neutrality movement called The Body Within to actually help women, any women, of any size, shape, colour, race, anything to get together and know that there's a community in Singapore for women to feel like they belong and they have a place to talk about anything. And a lot of them would say that they are scared, they are not brave enough to go out and talk about this. And I always remind them that you are talking about your story but I have other women who are talking about their story too. So you are never alone in this because you're going to have a community to support you no matter what. It's going to be scary to talk about your story and talk about all your journey, but I think that's the push that we all need. I have hundreds of women who have shared so far. That is one of the most inspiring things I've ever seen. When women are talking about body positivity and body neutrality, it's not about promoting obesity and it's not a plus size issue. It is a women's issue. Actually, it's a human issue because men struggle from it too. It is to share that I am this way because we are all born in different shapes, sizes, colour. There's no like one size fits all concept here at all. We need to listen to everyone's story and create 
a community because we need that community to support one another. This is who I am. I am Mary Victor from Singapore. I am the Asian woman. <laughs>